Hi, I'm Scott from the Economics Tutoring Center, and today we're going to be talking about conditional probability. So the first question is, what is conditional probability? And here's what it looks like, this symbol here, the probability of A slash B. And this slash translates as the word given. So a conditional probability is, what is the probability of one thing given that another thing happens? So this is our formula. The probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So down here we have more definitions for some of these notations. This symbol here is the intersection and it translates as and. This symbol, it's not in our conditional probability formula, but it's good to know. It's the union and it translates as or. So now we're going to look at two examples of how to calculate a conditional probability using a table. So here's the basic setup of our table. Our scenario is we're flipping a coin and drawing cards. So these are our two actions. And if we have a deck of cards, there is a chance of one half that we draw a red card, a chance of one half that we draw a black card. And same thing with the coin. If it's a balanced coin, there's a chase, chance of one half that it lands heads, chance of one half that it lands tails. And all of these probabilities in the middle are one-fourth because you get that by multiplying one-half times one-half for each of these. So then our first example is calculating the conditional probability of heads given a black card. And what that means is if you have already drawn a black card from the deck, what's the probability that you flip the coin and land heads? So in our formula, this is the probability of heads and a black card, or heads intersect black card, divided by the probability of a black card. So if we go back to our table, the probability of flipping a coin and landing on heads and drawing a black card is one-fourth. So that's on top. Then the probability of just a black card, just drawing a black card from the deck, is one-half. So that's on bottom. And one-fourth divided by one-half is one-half. So that's our conditional probability of landing on heads, given that we drew a black card. Similarly, we can calculate the conditional probability of drawing a red card given that our coin landed on tails. So using our formula, this equals the probability of drawing a red card and having the coin land on tails divided by the probability that the coin lands on tails. So this, if we go back to our table, the probability of drawing a red card and landing on tails is one-fourth. So that's our numerator. And then we need to find the probability of flipping a coin and landing on tails, which we know from our table is one-half. So that is our denominator. And once again, this comes out to one-half. Now, conditional probabilities won't always be equal like this but in this case they were. So I hope these examples helped. So that's all we have today about conditional probability. If you have any further questions, please ask your instructor or come into the tutoring center.